Another day, another win for the Michigan State Spartans. Back here on BTN Live, Howard, Glenn, and Mike. Let's bring in on the April Air Hotline now a guy who's a big part of that defense that's been so impressive. Curtis Drummond, who this past week had a pick, a forced fumble, and 10 tackles as his team won 41-28. to Curtis, give me a grade on your defense's performance this past week. Uh, I give our grade a, a B plus uh, for the simple fact uh, we came away with the win. I want you to walk me through what was one of the more interesting parts of the game, the, the Charlie Brown, as it was called, the fake field goal. What was your perspective of it? Uh, I actually was sitting down on the bench. Uh, I was unaware that we were going for the fake. I just kind of heard the crowd's reaction, and I knew Coach D I ran it. Uh, halftime, he told us he was going to roll the dice, and he, he did. Curtis, I, I'm interested in how difficult or different it is for a defense, and particularly defensive backs, when you have to face one of these fast-paced, up-tempo offenses? I mean, we, we practice pretty fast. Uh, we're used to flying around, so the, the tempo doesn't really affect as much because we, we have two different types of, of a huddle and a muddle huddle. So uh, as far as facing a no-huddle team, uh, I think it's something that we're kind of used to. To Credit to Coach Narduzzi, who, who has us prepared for that. Let's go back to this weekend's game a little bit. You talk about Nebraska being able to make some plays on the ground. What were some of the things that made it difficult for you guys to, to slow them down at some points? Uh, I mean, Amir Abdullah is a great running back. Uh, he runs hard, uh, shifty guy, uh, good field vision. So, I mean, credit to him running hard. Uh, at times, we, we were caught out of place, and uh, we'll get those things corrected. Take me inside uh, the personality of your defense. What kind of chatter? do you guys do on the field during a game? <laughs> Chatter. 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 Uh, I, I, would say, I would say we're a pretty confident group. <laughs> <laughs> we, we call ourselves a Spartan dog, so uh, we, we, we're out there uh, encouraging each other, uh, maybe in a guy's ear here and there, uh, especially back in the no-fly zone, uh, led by Darquez Denar and Isaiah Lewis. Uh, I, I would say we, we, we tend to talk every now and then. The, who talks the most? Uh, out of which position group? Out of the whole defense? Sure, yeah, whole defense. It's the second uh, I would say Darquez Denard. Yeah, See? <laughs> yeah, that's not a surprise. <laughs> hey, uh, Curtis, the Spartan defense has been outstanding all year long, but the last couple of weeks the offense has really come alive. From your perspective, what's the difference? Uh, I think they're just playing with confidence. We've seen it all through camp, all through the summer, and they're just, they're just coming together and clicking and, and believing in each other and in themselves. Talk to me a little bit about Harlan Barnett. He's one of the guys, obviously, a defensive coach, defensive back coach. Doesn't get a lot of the credit. It goes, obviously, to, to Pat Narduzzi. But talk to us a little bit about how he gets you guys prepared. I mean, he's a great coach. Uh, he, he played with the original Spartan Dogs. So, I mean, he, he brings great enthusiasm and, and energy to our team and to our defense. Uh, specifically to the defensive backs. Uh, he, he's, he's a great coach, a great father figure, uh, just, just a guy that we can go to and, and rely on. Uh, he, he's well prepared. He understands the game of football, and he, he's, he's just a great mentor and coach for us. What's the best way to describe Pat Narduzzi? Uh, <laughs> it's a family show. Uh, he, he's, just, he's an energetic, uh, <laughs> energetic uh, very intelligent, um, upbeat and passionate guy. Uh, really loves football and, and loves developing players. And he's known as having a great personality. Give me the time when he cracked you up the most. Uh, cracked me up the most. Uh, probably uh, in practice one day, uh, <laughs> he, he was uh, on the line standing, uh, trying to imitate an offensive lineman in Pascal. And, uh, the quarterback actually hit him in the back of the head with the football. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, just, his, just his reaction to that was, uh, was pretty comical. I bet that'd be pretty comical. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Curtis Drummond, <laughs> thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. Congratulations on the great most of the season thus far. Thank you. Thank you.